Trending on Twitter today, hashtag Trudeau not fit for office. Oh, he looks pretty fit to me. Why are bots keeping anti-Trudeau hashtags trending? What do the illegal blockades cost Canada? More known Trudeau don't know. They don't know what it's actually going to cost them. Oh, look at him. Well, uh, you know, it's going to be a lot. It's going to definitely be a lot. We're not really sure how much, but a lot. Beautiful new coffee book coming to Chapters Indigo for Canadians by Canadians. Trudeau not fist for office. Oh, here's the chapter book. Trudeau sucks. Dump Trudeau. <laughs> MCG, MCGA, what do they got to Make Canada Great Again hat right there. <laughs> Trudeau not fit for office. Is this Trudeau burning, burning Canada's flag? <laughs> Photoshopped in there. Oh, yeah. This is Only Real Cloud. I make daily videos about news, politics, culture, and dank memes. Please leave a like or a comment or consider even subscribing, please. I try to do it every day. So what do we got here today? Trending on Twitter today, hashtag Trudeau not fit for office. And uh, I thought there was some pretty interesting stuff in here. So I found that this was both a wonderful salt mine for the leftist tears as well as some based tweets from normie Canadians. So let's see what this has to say. When this kind of hashtag is trending, we know the leader of a nation with the best quality of life, second safest country on earth, and second most stable economy on earth is doing his job. Thanks Trudeau, hashtag thanks Trudeau, they're trying to get a new one going. Are people on the where, are people aware that we are considered as having the best quality of life on this planet? Would you all please shut the F up? Imagine that people must think in our countries when they read our whiny asses. <laughs> well, yes, let's see, you whiny, whiny people. Uh, yeah, I think that's the whole point, though, is that because we have such a great quality of life, Trudeau is not fit for office because he's not able to protect that quality of life. Trudeau is not doing anything to maintain that quality of life and our stable economy because of those things. And, of course, the safety because he's not upholding the rule of law. So there are all of those things, the quality of life, the safety of the country, and the stability of the economy are all under threat because Trudeau is not upholding the rule of law in Canada and he's allowing these protesters to destabilize the economy and hurt people's quality of life, or at least threaten their quality of life. That's the whole point, which you seem to completely miss, perhaps on purpose. While Trudeau's liberals spew hyperbole like ineffectual members of the student union executive, provincial leaders are cleaning up the mess of the illegal blockades. Yeah, so just people are taking it into their own hands, just as I predicted a few videos ago that they would. Hoisted by his own petard, Trudeau not fit for office. <laughs> by his own petard, I guess that's the Twitter, Twitter lefties, I don't know. Ted Morton, Trudeau's nightmare comes true as he's forced to choose, be choose between climate activists and national unity. Can't retweet this enough. Trudeau not fit for office. Trudeau must go. Trudeau must resign from Peter McKay. We cannot allow our economy to be hijacked by a small gang of professional protesters and thugs. All right, well, there you go. Thanks for the strong stance, Peter McKay. He's running for the leadership of the Conservative Party, and looks like he may very well win. What What next? Trudeau, how the F do you and the finance minister not know the number? Honestly, this is effing unbelievable. What do the illegal blockades cost Canada? More known, Trudeau, don't know. They don't know what it's actually going to cost them. Oh, look at him. Well, uh, you know, it's going to be a lot. It's going to definitely be a lot. We're not really sure how much, but a lot. Beautiful new coffee book coming to Chapters Indigo for Canadians by Canadians. Trudeau not fist for office. Oh, here's the chapter book. Trudeau sucks. Dump Trudeau. <laughs> MCG, MCG, what do they got to Make Canada Great Again hat right there. <laughs> Trudeau not fit for office. Finally, it's happening. The populist surge is coming to Canada. It started in the UK with Brexit and Boris Johnson. Moved to Trump America with Trump. And now it's happening, hopefully, by the next election, or maybe they'll get thrown out by, by, by then the Trudeau government. The Tories did give notice for a non-confidence motion over federal response to ongoing protests. So a vote of non-confidence in Canada, I understand it to be somewhat like an impeachment, like they tried to pull on Trump, which failed, obviously. Of course, then the Conservative government right away backed off, and there's Trudeau looking happy about it. Conservatives back away from non-confidence motion for now. But that is in the back pocket, so we'll have to say. We'll have to see what happens with that. <laughs> so is this Trudeau burning burning Canada's flag? <laughs> Photoshopped in there? Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, that's great. Who voted for this useless PM that has no spine, bows to Iran, and gives away our tax money? <laughs> 
This is just the beginning. Fed up shipping companies now avoiding Canada and rerouting to the U.S. Thanks, Justin Trudeau, you spineless, useless, bad word. Fed up. <laughs> I guess I'll just say that. Useless turd. That's not a bad word. I can say that, right? He is super fit for office. And when he wins again, you trolls are going to be pissed, huh? Maybe you, can, maybe you can come up with another hashtag or something then. Oh, Van City Dan. Oh, pretty smug. Well, I'm, I'm, since he uh, didn't win the majority government, you could kind of argue that it was a bit of a loss for Trudeau in the last election. Since he had a majority government, a strong majority, and then now he's got a minority government. Hopefully by the next one, he's got no government. Trudeau, Justin Trudeau survived his first term with a focus on image, manipulative, indirect words, and a socialistic game. Now that the rubber meets the road, he can't deliver because he's not able. Trudeau not fits for office. I voted conservatives to oppose the carbon tax and to oppose our money being given to terrorists. Our so-called prime minister needs to be removed from office for abuse of power. So the real question is, is he a prime minister or is he a crime minister? Oh, God, that's pretty, that's not that great. Oh, he looks pretty fit to me. Why are bots keeping anti-Trudeau hashtags trending? I guess we're all Russian bots, hey, Marianne? <laughs> I vote. Well, good for you. Trudeau, not fit for office. Look at him. So fit. <laughs> that was actually pretty good, though. Too bad there wasn't pipelines in a coast-to-coast -coast corridor that could freely transport these hydrocarbons that keep people from freezing to death and starving. Yeah, that would be great if this could... Uh, remember, it's the middle of winter here in Canada, so this is pretty serious. Justin Trudeau's response to the national crisis of the blockades proves he won't denounce the actions of law-breaking radicals, and he won't act to end this and get our economy back on track. This is from Peter McKay. Glad to see a couple of burdens with a pickup truck can do more for our economy in an afternoon than Justin Trudeau could in four years. I don't know if that's a real tweet or not. Apparently he deleted it. I don't know. But that is hilarious. <laughs> that's based on red pill. She <laughs> uh, feels like that sometimes. So Quebec gets to clear the protesters, but no, uh, but no other province can? Okay, got it. Right. It's the Laurentian consensus, as Dev... Uh, short fat otaku was pointing out is that uh, this Laurentian consensus is very much like the London bubble or the Washington elite or the LA Hollywood New York sort of cultural elite the Laurentian consensus people in Quebec and Ontario around the St. Lawrence River they are the cultural and economic elite of Canada there's this thing called Western alienation which is that the Western provinces who now have most of the economic activity in our country with our oil and gas activities. The tar sands and in BC there's a lot of mining and oil and gas as well, as well as logging. So we actually produce most of the eco economic activity, but the large bulk of the political power is centered around Ottawa and Montreal and Quebec in that area. Quebec Premier Legault, we will dismantle the blockade. Well, that's good. In Quebec, they're going to take action with the police. Good. So they're going to tell the police what to do. I guess uh, Trudeau can't, though. He can tell them not to do anything, but he can't tell them to do anything. That's how it works. I think this tweet really demonstrates the self-awareness of the left, which is that they don't have any. They post this thing thinking it's a good point, but it doesn't really make sense, or at least I think it misses the point of the whole argument, the whole conflict that we're having here in Canada. Stop. This protest is illegal. You're only allowed to protest against the government if the government says it's okay. Yes, I know the point of protest is to cause disruption and incite those in power to make a change, but you're causing too much disruption now, and it's starting to annoy those in power. So stop, please. And I think this is funny, because a lot of people on the other side of this who are against these protests and these blockades, the way they feel is that the only reason they're only allowed to protest because the government does say it's okay. That the government is saying it's all right for these extreme anarchist protesters, these eco-socialist, anti-pipeline climate activists, that it's okay for them to protest, even though it's illegal, and that in Canada we should just uphold the rule of law here, because there are laws to follow. But if the government says it's okay to protest illegally and they won't enforce the rule of law, then it's okay for them to do the protest. But if anybody else say, I guess this is what I'm saying, if, there is a, if this wasn't connected to the First Nations people and this was just a Antifa-style climate activist Extinction Rebellion protest, the police would have already removed the blockades right away. But because this is a First Nations issue, which is very politically sensitive in Canada, that's why the government is allowing these protests to happen. But the left doesn't seem to understand that. They think that they're out there fighting the man, but really, the man is allowing them to do it. The man is complicit. 
And that man is Justin Trudeau. And he, in my opinion, is not fit for office. Thank you.